Hey YouTube, I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Give my honest thoughts on how the project is being ran. Sometimes at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when I cover something a little bit different, which is what we're doing today as I'm very excited to be checking out the ninth most popular project in all of games that is Elements, an open world cooperative role RPG inspired by Zelda BOTW, which stands for Breath of the Wild. I feel like that's pretty common knowledge. It's one of those popular games of all time uh funded in less than 12 hours nobody cares we got the different things that they're on i do like this we got the steam the xbox the switch the playstation uh get a little gander at the artwork elements is a third person open world rpg if you combine a zelda breath of the wild witcher 3 pokemon and a dot 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 i put the zelda breath of the wild at the end here and whatever the a dot 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 is in front because i already know zelda's uh, breath of the wild but, anywho, this is already funded. It's raised 31000 Canadian. It's going to happen. And I do want to mention right from the jump, they actually paid me to do this video via the Fiverr link down below. And if you're interested in having your Kickstarter critique, be sure to check out that link down below. They also checked out my pre-launch service where I looked at their project before it launched. So this is actually the second time I've seen this. Uh, so I'm interested to see what's, what's different. And a little Minecraft. Yeah, so I would especially... Uh, bump that Zelda Breath of the Wild to the back and the Minecraft a little bit to the front, especially if you're putting Zelda Breath of the Wild in the marquee. Because at that point, I feel like we're being a little bit redundant, but we're also cutting out something really good with the uh, the Minecraft there. But anywho, it's already raised 23000 bucks. It's going to happen. That's awesome. Let's get into the video. As always, when I go into the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. For thousands of years, brave warriors have journeyed to Elamithia in search of eight magical stones hidden throughout the world. So I like what they did there. We led off with a bunch of in-game spliced footage of like, oh, here's a bunch of the different stuff that you're going to be doing. And then we get to the thematic cutscene of like, here's the story. So I'm seeing actual gameplay along with you know, just the pre-rendered stuff, which is which I like. Because I've been burned quite a few times in video games where it's like just that pre-rendered stuff, and you're like, eh. Stones hidden throughout the world and linked to the elements of Earth. Like that. These that looked pre-rendered to me. These unrivaled power that fueled corruption and divided what was once a peaceful world. Many have tried and failed to harness the magic of the stones. But now, that quest belongs to me. Different worlds, different bad guys. Are we seeing some repeats from earlier? Ooh. Now, I like the shots where we see two people, too, because that, that reminds me in my mind that one of the big selling points of this, oh, it's cooperative as well. Crafting, villages. I want to believe that game's going to be great. Like, after watching that, I want to play that. That looks fun. I'm interested. Yes. Do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Uh, you showed me a lot of stuff in-game, which is good. I do like that. Uh, and then how much is it? Don't know yet. So, first created 50 back. Wrecked Games is a team, a small team of indie game developers founded by Devin Parsons coming from over 10 plus years of experience in animation. Wrecked Games strives to create games that tell meaningful stories to open the eyes and hearts of new gamers, young and old. So, this is one thing I am a bit concerned about. Only one person collaborating on the project. Uh, that always concerns me a little bit. Because sometimes, you know, customer service 
could you know could take a backseat to life, and that's less likely to happen if you have you know one person to be like, oh yeah, right now we're dealing with blah 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 blah. Um, let's check out find the stones. It's also on Steam. This looks good. This makes me feel more comfortable. Makes you look more professional. Ooh, an Epic Mega Grants recipient. Don't know what that is, but that sounds good. All right. And then this looks like, yeah, this is the one that's pretty much just going to take us back to the Kickstarter. All right. Can you do it? I need to be convinced throughout. Elements is a story-driven, open-world, action-driven RPG set in Elementia World Connected. So, yeah, theme. 27 Canadian, 20 U.S., 40 Canadian, 30 U.S. for the alpha. So, play Elements when it launches onto early access on Steam or on consoles. So, 20 bucks, very reasonable price. Honestly, I'd have that on the marquee. I think especially if we're starting with that. Um, I think that's... That's that's a great price. I don't have an issue with that price at all, especially when I'm factoring in an Xbox game, it's a Switch game, it's a PlayStation game. Get an alpha key before the game launches publicly and help shape elements. Cool. Reserve now. What does this do? Oh, it takes you to the pledge. Okay. It's interesting. Uh, higher tier rewards below. Elements has been inspired. Uh, so I do like mentioning that. So higher tier rewards below. I'd personally rather just have it up here. Uh, like, cause I'm, I'm in the shopping mood. I felt like you did a good enough job in the video. I get it. I read the marquee. I know Witcher, Minecraft. I saw the art style. Uh, Elements Dev Interview. Fuck, my kids as well. Like, as soon as I put the build, um, multiplayer. Okay, leading with that. We have demos of the game at PAX West and PAX East. We have had hundreds of people play our early demos, and the player feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. We can't wait for you to get your hands on Elements. Let your guard down at PAX West. This looks good. Great. What I've seen so far is to be intrigued and optimistic. Elements has an irresistibly adorable. And uh, while these, so these are people who I'm going to guess saw this in packs. Oh, I actually do like putting those right next to each other. That works out really well. Because that, that explains why IGN Southeast Asia would be talking about this. Uh, because sometimes you get the quotes where they look like they're just like straight up like, hey, this is coming to Kickstarter and I'm telling you about it. I'd like those clickable though. Uh, stretch goals. We have high hopes for elements. This is funded. It's happening. I think it was. Oh wait, that was Canadian. I gotta check. I gotta check the uh, the Canadian to American conversion. Twenty three bucks. Yeah, or twenty three thousand. So that is happening. Funded. So we get a katana at thirty thousand. We will add the katana weapon type along with new animations. Cool. Fishing. We'll add a fishing mechanic to elements. Love that. Adding mechanisms into the game. I think that's a big one. That's one that people are definitely gonna want. I know when I used to play WoW, I'd spend hours fishing. Especially if it's an enjoyable little mini game. Story. On a night seeming like any other, we got theme. Couch co op. Here we go. Elements can be played single player or local cow op. Couch co op, which means it'll also be played using remote play on Steam so you can back on your own journey or jump in with family and friends. That's really nice. Uh, that's great. Exploration, building, stuff, farming, all the different elements of the game, crafting, combat. What do I want right now? Uh, I just want to see the other pledge levels. I feel like we're beating around the bush here. I just I just want to see, like, I'm in my brain. I'm like, yeah, I want this. 20 bucks. Seems very reasonable. Am I going to give you any more for a shirt or a pin or a knickknack or a paddywhack or name it a building after me or something? Stealth. Quest. Ooh. Ooh, here we go. I would like to see some of this in the video. Uh, reserve now. Once again. Okay. Weapon and armors. I would love to know the behind-the-scenes metrics of how often those actually got clicked. Like, the, how many people, that was the way that they clicked on them. Especially the second one. First one, I think a lot of people are like, oh, what's going on here? The second one, now that they know what's going on there. Just curious. Uh, things, stuff. Here's the different things. This is why you should be more excited about the stretch goals. Because it gives you a whole new weapon and the way to play with it. Rare, epic, legendary. Elemental weapons could be upgraded. Rare to, okay, so you can upgrade your stuff. Puzzles. Mounts, it just feels like we're just regurgitating all the stuff in the game. Like, I feel like a kid who just got back from summer camp, and it's like, hey, I did this, and then I did this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. We did this, and this, and this, and this, and dynamic weathers, and villages, and creatures. Oh, yeah, it was creatures. And then there was, um, oh, my gosh, there were guardians. Yeah, the guardians were there, and then there was collab. Well, now we're talking about the people. Uh, narrative writer. So, although we aren't ready to share this person's identity, we can give you a clue. He's an Academy Award-nominated writer who also has directed feature films and written many classic animated films for Disney. That's so odd to me. It has to be hidden there. Um, Next great open-world adventure... 
So the voice actress talking about the game. I'm curious. I'm very curious. I wonder how much. Like, I wonder how many people. Let's because we can get a good barometer here. So we got 490 people. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's somewhere. I can't even find it. All right, I give up. Wait, where is it? I don't give up. I don't give up. Where is it? Mm, I give up. I should have given up. I don't know where it is. That's weird. I can't find it. Whatever. Okay, elements. I was just curious. I like to sometimes I like to check the uh, the view counts on videos to see like what are the most popular. Okay, so here we got to rewards. We got to check out the music. We've decided to keep rewards digital. T-shirts and mugs are cool, but they're not going to make the game better or help it get done faster. Uh, it's always good. It takes shipping out of the equation, which is always. I mean, it can it can really be a, a fly in the ointment. Supporter, five bucks. We'll receive a high res digital wallpaper pack as our gratitude for your support. Can't imagine this is the most popular or near anywhere near. I don't imagine five backers. Uh, so there's no one dollar level. It's just the five dollar supporter. Yeah, not a fan of that. Uh, the game, twenty bucks. So we got two hundred and twelve backers. Okay. We got the alpha. Help us shape the game by gaining access to the alpha. Now, if there's, I, I'm actually kind of more curious about now that I'm really thinking about this. Like, how do I, how am I going to help in the alpha? I feel like I haven't really been wooed that much on that. Like, what, what does that mean? What can that do? Because that could be cool. Let's see how many people chose that. 110. So yeah, most people are still like, yeah, I, I don't see the ten dollars value, and I can see that because I don't feel like I was shown the ten dollars value there. Now that I'm literally looking at it. Uh, composer. Get a copy of the Elements digital soundtrack. Also receive the previous rewards. Uh, also get a copy for... Because you are a legend, get two copies of the game. The digital art book and your name in the cards. So I'm not a big fan of just having the artwork over here. I personally just much rather have like what it is I'm getting. I think that would make this a little bit cleaner and clearer. And a little bit more fun to navigate. Inscription. Have your name inscribed on a shared monument in Elementia, so 100 bucks gets you a little touch on the game. Blacksmith, for the Loot Goblin, name a unique weapon or piece of armor in the game. 250. Wowzers. Uh, village Elder, 500 bucks. For the one who loves the cozy spot, name a village or town in the game. But that's that's a whole thing. That's that's a big deal. A whole town. Monumental, 1,000 bucks. Customize your own monument in the game that will be hidden in the game. Interesting. I'm really excited to see which of these pledges are taken. Because uh, so, to me, these seem very high. These seem a bit higher than your typical video game ones. And maybe it's just because I haven't looked as many video game projects lately. I'm a little bit rusty on the video games, but it seems high. Help design and name an elemental magic spell you can use in the game. Uh, so let's check this out. So 47, we got 27 here with the composer. The legend. So this one's going to get you two copies of the game, right? Where is that? Legendary artist. Get two copies of the game and the digital art books. That one's 89. So more, that jumped up for two copies. And... The art book, and then, so I'm really curious, is it more for the copies, or is it more for the art book? I have to imagine it's more for just for two copies of the game. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'd love to know. I wish there's a way we could tell. Inscription. Have your name inscribed on a shared monument on Elementia. So that's $101. 30 backers. All right. Blacksmith, 250 This one, 5 left of 100 So they, 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 they scraped up 1250 bucks there. The Village Elder, 2 backers. And then the big monument... Putting themselves in the game, nobody's taking that yet. Okay. Then the Stonekeeper. Help design a magic spell in the game. You can use it in the game. <sighs> Two backers. Dang. Well, good. Uh, I like this. I like this breakdown. It's clean and clear. Digital soundtrack. This one. I like how the... That looks really good. Solid on that. Uh, so once we finally did get to the pledge area, I, I mean... For me personally, I don't think I could. I, I imagine most people are going to be at the twenty dollar level, but if you want to do more, it's there. So that's nice. And yeah, the most popular one is the twenty dollar level. Uh, let's see. That makes me want to go back and check out other video games that have that very similar uh, pledge level. Where it's like Alpha Access is is a little bit more, but it uh, yeah, that makes me really curious on other Kickstarter video games. Which of those pledges is more popular? Because in the board game world. 
it's all always the, the most popular pledge level is the one that's the most expensive with all the bells and the whistles. Platforms. After the campaign ends, you'll have the option to choose your platform in a survey via uh, send via Ariel. Cool. If you select a console version, you can still participate in the PC alpha. It will be available to everyone. What is an alpha? The alpha version will be incomplete. will likely have a lot of bugs. and will only be a portion of the full game world. The alpha is a chance for players to get their hands on elements before anyone else. It's a way for us developers to get valuable feedback to make the elements. It's the best game it could be. Roadmap. Uh, cool. Console release Q4 2025. Okay. Seems reasonable for a video game. Why Kickstarter? It does seem like a massive video game, but it seems like there's always been a lot of work put into it, at least from the video. Uh, when I first had the idea for Elements, my initial plan was to launch Kickstarter and apply for an epic mega grab early in the thing. So they got the epic mega grab. There's the people. Elements showcased on the Steam Deck. That looks really flashy. Wait, there's a disc there. I don't know. Uh, so that's one thing I am missing here. I'd love it if there was just one regular, like, hey, here's the game. Here's us playing it. Turkish, meet the team. Devin, Michael, Shade, Ryza, Jason, Jaron, Alex, Patrick, Tom. So not a big fan of this. Not having the last names at all. That's, uh, I don't remember seeing that. I feel like I would have mentioned that. Uh, thank you. Wishlist us on Steam. Follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Do all the stuff. All right, so, hmm. Yeah, because the other thing is, if you have, like, a small team of indie game designers here, which is what you said you did in the uh, the thing, like, I feel like putting their first and last names would be nice just because, like, and the fact that you don't know, just know who the show writer is, that's a little odd, too. Does Elements have online multiplayer? Multiplayer at Elements is local sprint stream cow co-op only. It will also be playable using remote play on Steam. When will my elements come out? What is early access? Got it. So all this stuff was answered there. Wow, fun in under 12 hours. Thank you. Well, we're off to a great start. Fun in under 12 hours. Thank you. We're truly humbled. This means so much. We couldn't have done it without your support. Thank you again. Uh, couldn't be more excited. Wow, huge congrats. So not a very engaging update. I always recommend making it engaging. Like, hey. So, in fact, you're just saying, hey, join the Discord, which is, I mean, it is what it is. Why not make a clickable link there to the Discord? That'd be nice, too. Just make it a little bit easier. Ask people what they'd like to see. You know, we got this new stretch goal coming up. What stretch goals would you love to see in the future? You know, something like that. Get the people here engaged. Comments. Any chance of stretch goal unlocks that include character appearance customizations? When I say customizations, I'm thinking of hair color, color style, people allowing to play. We still going through more fundings. LOL. Hooray. Hello, guys. Glad to see this fun. And glad to see one of the backers. Ask for this question. Please, would you be so kind to tell me if we pledge for a gamer tier... We'll be able to opt for a switch key instead of the Steam one when the survey will be sent to us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, grats, great through. And, and maybe that means you need to put that a little bit higher, too, because honestly, I think that's one of the biggest selling points here. Like this. I think that right there, those four things. Um, and, and I have seen that in other Kickstarter projects where it'd say, hey, you're getting the PlayStation version, you're getting the Xbox version, you're getting the Switch version. Uh, just Especially Switch moves the needle. Grats, getting through this, fully funded, getting on, getting funded, fully funded in 12 hours. I see that Steam is an available option for digital keys. This means we play playable on Steam Deck. Uh, cool. I need Discord code. Does Discord link not work? So they already have to do with the customer service. So let's get to it. Elements, an open world co-op inspired by that. I want to check out what we got here. LA, nine backers, Phoenix, eight, United States, majority, uh, 270, 40 new backers. Kudos. Bringing those people in. Do I want it? Yeah, I do. I feel like right from the marquee, you got me. A Switch game that I could play, Zelda Breath of the Wild, open world co-op RPG. Those are all things that are absolutely spectacular to me. I want to believe. X-Files, man, I want to believe. And then we get to the price. We get to the price relatively early. 20 bucks. Like, bam, right there. I wish we went into the full list of prices. Uh, because that's what I was really searching for, as you made me go through all the other stuff again. Uh, but, yeah. How much is it? Very reasonable. Can you do it? That's the one where I'm the most concerned, I'll be honest with you. Just because this is an incredibly ambitious game, and I want to see just a regular gameplay of this. Fuck, my kids as well. Like, as soon as I put the building in the game, they were just like, oh, I want to... And they just started five years down the... And maybe this is it. Maybe this is the video right there. 
But I just want someone playing through the game, doing stuff in the game, like the actual real world, like, hey, this is going to check you through the character models. This is how the character uh, progression works. This is how the hand gliding is going to work. Any of that stuff. But instead, we just get this, the glitz, the glamour, just splices from the video. I, I like this whole middle section right here, I feel like it's just a big slog that you got to go through to get to the meat and potatoes, which is the price. You know, just, we're just being around the bush forever. And then it's almost like, I know you want to mention that the narrative writer is like an Academy Award nominated, and that's that's great, but it's like, I don't know. Just the fact that you don't, you, you won't tell me who the writer is, and then when I get to the team, it's Alex. It's Divya. Like, and here's the bottom line. I've seen numerous Kickstarters that were like shams where this is exactly what they did. And I'm not insinuating, but it's like when you put last names in there, it just makes you look more real. And when you don't have them in there, it's like, oh, that's odd. Like, that's that's really odd. Um, like, oh, this person's working on the game, but they don't want it to get out or something. It's just weird for me. The Can You Do It's the one, that's the one thing where I'm like, it's a very ambitious game, bringing it to all the consoles not having, like, that, that one concrete in-game footage. But the fact that it was at PAX West, like, where's just the gameplay from PAX West? That's what I want. Like, that would make me feel so good. You know, we got the two co people going right here. They got the couch co-op. They know this person's going to be hand gliding while this person's fighting a skeleton. You see him dodge here. Just that, front and center, I think, would, would be spectacular. Um, so for that, I am a little bit wary. But other than that, it looks solid. Looks good. Main image. I don't think the main image is great. Like, the fun in less than 12 hours, I think, is terrible. Everybody knows how the bar system works. Like, $20 price tag would be fantastic. Stretch goals would be fantastic. I feel like there's just something else we could put there. Update! I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, but let me know in the comments below. Oh, so my final grade for this one. Refresh, I just added the gameplay. Oh, spectacular! Boom, 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 boom. Where is it? Let me see it. I want to see that sweet, sweet gameplay. Oh, here we go. All right, this is great. Yeah, this. That right there, I would spotlight that, to be quite frank. That's, that's fantastic. That's what I want to see. And potentially, yeah, like, look at that, going into the inventory system, talking about the stuff. I feel like more of that needs to be interweaved in here. I got way too much of this. Like this. Like the paragraph and pictures type of thing. But that that eight minute, like, that's what I want to watch there. All right. All right. So, fire grid for this one. That definitely does bump it up for me like that. That makes me feel more comfy. Uh, I'm going to go with a B plus, I think, overall. Really solid. I mean... Honestly, the marquee, I think, was the best thing here. Cooperative, RPG, open world, like, on the Switch, on the Xbox, on the PlayStation, and on the PC. Like, that right there, boom. Uh, so I'm going to go with the B plus here. Let me know in the comments below what's your final grade for Elements in Open World Co-op RPG inspired by Zelda Breath of the Wild. And as always, if you're enjoying the content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 17,000 subscribers this year to make 2023 my biggest year ever. Have a great one. Bye-bye.